and in this video we're going to see how to create have an object created in Onshape and uh, set up to print on your Dremel uh, 3D printer. In this case, it's a 3D45. Uh, so to do that, first you have to create your part. We have here uh, this little hex cam we've created in the past. Uh, then all you have to do is go over to where the part is, uh, and you're going to right click, and you're going to click export. That saves it as a file. You can change the type. Uh, in uh, Dremel, in the Slicer program, it's default sets to millimeters. Uh, so you're gonna want to make sure if it's if you're in inches, uh, you change that to millimeters or whatever unit you're in. You change it to millimeters. That way, it automatically updates to the correct size when you open up Dremel. Uh, you want it to be a download. Uh, you can change the resolution and the STL is the file type you want. Uh, so we hit OK and that downloads it and puts it in our download file. Uh, then we have to open up a, the Dremel Slicer program, the DigiLab 3D Slicer. So we open that up. Uh, and this Slicer program, it's we already have it set up. The first time you open it, you're going to have to set it up for the specific type of printer you have. Uh, we're already set up for the 3D45, as you can see up here. Uh, to insert your file, you just open File. Ours is in download, so I'm going to go to downloads and find it, and click open, and that places it on our bed. Uh, in this case, it's standing upright, typically in this one. It's going to build some supports in if I print it like this, so you may want to do things like rotate it around, and you can just use your options on the side there to rotate it how you want it and get it to lay flat. Uh, you can select the... Uh, uh, material type to make sure it's printing at the right temperatures. You can make adjustments to that as well. Uh, your quality, which is going to affect your print speed, and then your infill, which will also affect your print speed as well as how how durable your product is. Uh, you have options for supports and build plate adhesion. I'll leave supports on, even though it's not going to build any supports on this particular model. A lot of times, I take the build plate adhesion off unless you're building something with fine details. Uh, typically, you don't need that. Um, after that, we're all set up. If you need to, you could scale it up and make it bigger or smaller, uh, but by changing it to millimeters, we made it the size we wanted. Uh, you, you could also move it on the print bed. If you had more than one item, you could put more than one item and move them around so uh, they're not stacked on top of one another. Once you're all set, you hit prepare. And then you can either save to remove or drive, or if I'm not hooked up to the printer right now, but if you're hooked up to your printer, you can uh, go right into print sending to the printer as well. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, good luck.